it. The fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. He finds the fun guy. We find out why he's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. To find out about fun guy, then you could do worse than give this guy a try. Ghost boomerang keeps coming back to haunt me. Oh, you hoo! And welcome, welcome to the gardens of the school where I work. So I'm having a little mooch about, having a little walk around, looking for fungi as I do. And I come across these little beauties. In fairness, I found them quite a few weeks back and I've been monitoring them, is what I've been doing, keeping my peeper on them, keeping the peepers peeled. Um, and I'm delighted to see they've finally burst open and shown us all their glorious form because these are a wonderful thing. This is the Collared Earth Star and it's mega! How does it feel about this find? Well, what do you know about that now? He seems really happy about this. Let's see how he feels on the gyometer. Huh. Wing ding. I don't find these very often. In the books, uh, they describe them as widespread but localized. I think that's a very textbooky kind of thing to say. I think it means that you get it in where you get it. It's all over. It's dispersed all around the country. Uh, but where you get it, it's quite common in its little pockets. And it would appear so in this case because we've got a good whew, half a dozen under here, and uh, a few over there that I found over there in that part of the garden. Can you talk about the fungus now, Ali? This one. Not that one. That one's too far away. Do you know what it is? I'll tell you what this one is. It's too far away to talk about. It's there, it's in shot, but it's too far away. Let's get up and close and learn a little bit more about this. The Collard Earth Star. Come on, come on. So here it is in its early stage where it takes the appearance of an onion. Look at that. With that little nipple on the top there. Uh, I've got another one right beside me as well. Look at that. These are very close now to splitting open. And the reason I know that is because they're in the vicinity of some that are splitting open. So walk with me, if you will, through this little area. This um, habitat's a good um, a good indicator of where they like to grow. Look at that. We've got a few under here. Those, I think. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Look at these. But here we go. There, it's just split probably in these last few days. And isn't that the most beautiful thing to see? What a gorgeous thing. I may have to pull it out so we can take that closer look. And there we have some others that are waiting to go. Oh, hello. Look at you. People. I can see you. I can see you. Oh, that's amazing. Look at it just about. So it started its, it started its split. In fact, that's amazing. There's the finger. Uh, so it's just starting there to create the next crack, which will create the next part of the star. The next ray. Each one of these... Each one of these parts is called a ray. Wow, loving that. Let's take a closer look. So the Collared Earth Star, uh, Geostrum triplex. That me? No, I won't tell you what that means. Leave that to somebody else. All right, you'll be talking about me then. Though I've got to point out that this is one of the easier ones. Very literal, it's Geostrum triplex. Now the G comes from Geo, meaning Earth. And Astrum, that means star. So we got ourselves an Earth star. Now the triplex, well we know that tri means three, like triangle, tricycle, and so forth. So triplex means three layers. Now that's referring to the outer skin that peels away, the sack inside, and uh, what? Well, I, I don't know where the third bit is. That's a translator. I'm going for a haircut. Uh, but the Earth Stars, we have about uh, 18, I think, in this uh, family, in this country, in England. Um, about 50 worldwide, uh, but probably more. And do you know what? I could probably say that sentence on the end of all sentences I give you about fungi when I use numbers in that sentence. Did that make any sense? Oh no. Get on with it. Okay, so uh, this is the collared Earth Star, though. Probably our most common of all the Earth Stars. But still a beautiful find, a real highlight whenever you find one of these, and especially when you find them just as they're doing the business, doing the peeling, the splitting, their starring, their starring role, their starring moment. Uh, and fortunately for us, we've got examples of all the different stages which I'll maybe lay out in a nice ordered line to really appreciate the whole, the whole procedure. Uh, the whole, there's a better word for that, the whole... Process. The whole process.
Thank you. And it began with pro. Uh, okay, so this is the collared Earth star. And the reason it's the collared is you can first of all count the number of rays, which are these petals that open up as it splits, anywhere between five and seven. Uh, so it can differ. And I guess that's just nature and the way things split. Um, and the reason it's collared would be better demonstrated. In fact, I've got it here. I found a little one and that shows the variable in size. You can see this is quite a bit smaller and it's sizing there. Can you see that? Um, this one, this colouring is showing perfectly here because, as you can see, that's where it split here. But at the top end, the actual rays are starting. That's a better way to describe. There we go. The rays are starting to split away from the main basin itself. And what you get is this cracking, and you're left with just a bowl shape, like a saucer to call it, as in a collar, the collared Earth star. Cool. Let's see if it'll do its thing. I say that. I know it's going to do its thing. It's where there's anything left to do at the end because the kids at school, when I showed them, are all amazed and going pum pum the way that they would because it's fascinating and engaging. Let's see if there's anything left to give. Yeah, we can see. Oh, it's puffing. There we go. Still doing its job. And that's how these things work. Uh, just similar to puffballs and earth balls, that mechanised process that when debris, uh, rain, leaf litter will hit on here, pop, and it sends out millions of spores at a time. Isn't that wonderful? What a brilliant thing that is. Um, let's have a little look at them laid out and see the uh, see the way they develop. Have you noticed this ever? Why? Not particularly. What's wrong with it? Well, it's, it's, it's wiggy. It's, Give it's like there. he's wearing a wig. Give all that. It is. Yeah, it's all, it's all floaty and, and brushed over. It's like Donald Trump. So here I am in the undergrowth, taking one for the team. Uh, I've decided not to disturb these guys, just to get them a nice order for us to look on camera. Let's leave them in their substrate, doing their thing so as not to disturb them. Come on in, let's have a look. Here we are, and look at that, what a prize. There it is. All five in a row, look at that. Now these first three, this is how they actually look. Forgive us for being a bit darker, but we are right in the thick of it. These are undisturbed. So this is how it starts out, and you can see some cracking patterns there. I wonder if that's how the rays eventually peel open. On here, we've got little people, man, there he is. You can't hide from us. Focus, I'm great. Over we go, third stage, starting to peel and split. It'll be interesting to see if that becomes four or five uh, rays, or it stays as three, do you know what I mean? Then we get to what it looks like later on, and finally like that. I say finally, the rest of these would eventually split away, become arms, and actually become inverse and this can be left high up on a, on a saucer shape, higher than the actual petals, the rays themselves. What an image, isn't that great? The collared Earth Star's giving it some for everybody there. Well done, you guys. Well done. Good teamwork. So there we have it, guys. The collared Earth Star may have an association with hardwood trees, but have been known to be found under Codifer for two. But they like hummus-rich soil, which we've talked about before. Uh, loads of bits of debris that are breaking down, turning that real rich soil. In fact, take a look. You would have seen it when I went peeping in. There you go. Look at that lot. Just loads of debris uh, returning. Oh, hey, wobble. Oh no, no, that's not working for me at all. Right, that's that's a good ending. Let's stop there. Hey, listen. I hope you enjoyed that the way that I did. See you guys, toodaloo, happy hunting. A uh, quick one, I didn't get a chance to show off the fact I knew what this middle hole's called. It's called the peristome. I say that, I've only ever read it, it could be peristome. Uh, little fact for you, thanks. Half fact, because it might not even be well pronounced, bye. Uh, and now I've just watched that back to check I've captured what I needed to. And uh, what's going on with me here? What's that all about? Looks like a syrup fig. It's very wiggy that, I do apologise. It does look wiggy. It looks like Richard Maidley. How's that happened? <sighs> oh, it's the hair settings. Someone must have knocked it onto wafty. You know, that's not that's out of order that. That's bang out of order. I need a haircut, that's a fact, but there's just nothing about that at all. There's no style whatsoever. Oof, sorry about that, I can only apologise. Oh, it's my little star. My little earth star. An earth star with a comb over.
It's the hair settings. Someone's knocked it onto wafty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hair settings. So, so... Oh, stop it, you two. <laughs> no, I was joining in. Oh. So triplex means three layers. Yeah. <laughs>